All right, Flatway Mechanic here, and today we are working on a Nissan Murano that's setting a P0340 for cam position sensor circuit bank one. So um, let me just go in here and verify that is actually still the code we have. Um, DTC analyst. All right. It's ch -ch -ch. Yeah, and there we have it. We got a P0340 and this customer was complaining of this vehicle cutting out intermitt intermittently and uh, kind of losing power, I guess. Um, and what I'm gonna show in this video is I actually have the uh, I have my lab scope hooked up to it, um, to the cam sensor. I'm gonna show you where they're located, bank one um, and bank two. There's two cam sensors. I'm gonna show you how we um, hook the scope up to it and how we determine what was actually causing this vehicle to cut out so um, I actually already have the um, lab scope hooked up to it so I'm gonna go ahead and start I'm gonna go ahead and start this thing up and um, I will show you guys what I found and towards the end of the video I will show you where these sensors are located as well and in the video description below uh, will be some links on where you can find them on Amazon and whatnot so <clears throat> All right, so we were setting a P0340, which is bank one, and sometimes also set a P0345, which would be bank two cam sensor circuit. But um, as you can see here, we have the cam sensor hooked up to our Vantage Ultra Snap-on uh, lab scope. And the signal on here looks perfectly fine. I was actually unable to duplicate the uh, issue in the shop but what I did find is all right so the cam sensors on these um, this is actually this is bank two the front bank is bank two and bank one is the rear bank and the actual sensors come outside the head uh, that right there is the front cam sensor and this one here is the back cam sensor so bank one is actually in the back Bank two is in the front. Um, I went ahead and probed the middle wire, which is the signal wire for this cam sensor, three wire. And that's how I got my um, signal here. And as you can see, it's working perfectly fine. But upon inspection of this, I found that the actual, uh, I came out and I just wiggled this connector just a little bit and it actually stalled on me. So let's see if we can get it to do that. All right, so that time it didn't, but yeah, earlier, I actually pulled it and it stalled. So, um, but what I found is, uh, let me go ahead and shut this off so you can hear. Is this, um, the clip on the connector is actually the piece that holds this connector in place as you can see right there this is supposed to be a push clip that releases this and um <clears throat> that thing was barely even plugged in so anytime it would hit a bumper or something like that it would the car would um die and or would lose power or cut out and that's why it was setting that code <clears throat> so on this particular one we don't even have to really replace any parts i'm just gonna have to repair that connector um, I'll probably order a new one and plug it in, but uh, if it's your personal vehicle, you can always use a zip tie or something to hold it in place temporarily until you can get it fixed properly. But um, yeah, that's all we found on this one. And just to refresh, the uh, bank one is the side towards the firewall. Bank two is the one in the front on this vehicle. Um, there's two cam sensors. Uh, PO340 is for bank one. P0345 is for bank two. Appreciate you guys watching this video. Um, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. And as always, be sure to subscribe to the Flat Rate Mechanic. Thanks.